you know. Sorry, beehive's gotta go. I am not sleeping with a beehive behind my bed. And I will take some of this stuff here. Uh, put that in my number five slot, and I'll just patch this section up. Make it look a little bit civilized in here. Boy, bad aim. Come on, get out of here. Torch over my bed so I can read books. Alright, and I definitely need a chest. And yay, iron chests are in this mod. Gotta have iron chests. Coked mutton. A little more charcoal, which I'm not gonna need ever again because I already got a whole, st almost a whole stack of coal. But as long as I'm bragging about my uh, my goods, I'll make a few more. Uh, that'll get rid of all the charcoal. There we go. And now I'm doing coal from now on. Where's a good spot for chests? Frankly, where's a good spot for a bed? That's not it. I'm gonna put the bed back here. Once again, with a torch over it so I can read my sci-fi novels before I go to bed. Alright, so there's the bed, so I can put chests here. So I just go right ahead and, uh... I'm gonna start right off with a iron chest. Ah, I just need three more iron. And I have a whole stack of it. Pretty good. Stone pickaxe, da 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 da. Frankly, I have so much, uh... One, two, three, four... I already have so much, uh, logs, I can make more chests. But then again, this is probably just gonna be my temporary home. I'm going to branch out today and uh, actually probably go right now. But uh, first I should put some stuff in chests. There's eight. Let's see if this recipe still works. I haven't had this on my last uh, last two worlds. Did not have iron chests. Woohoo! Iron chests rock. Especially the, the upgrades. I really enjoy that. So I'll put the uh, ores... Up, well... It's already mixing. I hate mixing my stuff. Man, alright. Got dying shrubs. That sounds really useful. Yay. So we got this and that. And for now I will just put two normal chests. I'll put all my organic material in one. And inorganic material in the other. There, there's an easy division. Technically wool is organic. Alright, let's see, and I'll put, uh, well, my iron pick's almost gone, so, hmm, could make another, okay, you go on number, s number seven's good, number five for you, I probably need food, and do a little exploring today, grab a berry, this looks looked like a very large biome of just frozen crud as far as the eye could see, right? Oh, which map are we using here? Oh, Reese mini map. So X is the default zoom. Okay, well everything that direction's frozen. Everything that direction everything this way is unfrozen. Unfrozen. Frozen. Alright. Well, how about that? And there's weird crap in the sky that requires exploring. Well, it's unfrozen. It's not exactly easy to get up and over there. Diamonds on the surface? Are you just teasing me? What is... What is this? Hexit? Diamonds on the surface. Well, okay, so Pam's wee flowers are everywhere. Yowza. That is scenic. I'm not seeing... It's not really aiding my survival in any way. 
Oh, look at that nice valley to build in. Yeah, I can see a whole town right there. With all this cool stuff and the spa. Hmm. Now let me go back and set some waypoints. Kind of wonder, it's just more flowers, more sheep. Oh I, oh, I can almost make shears. But then again, once you have a bed, what do you need another, what do you need shears for? Oh, I know, to make beds in other places. All right. Why is there a little arm of dirt going out right there? That's weird. All right. So I found a more permanent place to uh, hang out. I've got plenty of stone and wood to go build a little, uh, little fort right there. Well, let's see. I obviously, I don't need a crafting bench to make shears, but um, now I have shears. Let me have some mutton. Mutton does three hearts or three sticks of hunger. All right, let's see. Malaberries, malaberries. I'll borrow you guys for planting at my new location, just the top ones and the front one. These should grow to three units high, three blocks high, and produce quite a lot of food. I don't have a shovel yet. No real reason. I've just not been in the shoveling mood. Iron shovel usually is all I need. Why did I put it in the wrong spot? Here we go. Shovel, number two. Okay, everything else goes back in the pack. Shovel, number two, I said. Let me get some of this ore gravel. The ore gravel is from Tinker's Construct, which is just a plain fun mod. You can build a giant smeltery, melt down ores, melt down all kinds of unnecessary things that you find, recycle iron and gold materials. Ooh, there's quartz, so that means applied energistics is loaded. Kind of a smorgasbord of uh, neat stuff. Well, I did run a little in the other direction, so I will do a quick foray out here. Is this a scary cave? No, just a lighting glitch. Anything good there? I will stop to get coal when I see it. So, yeah, when they said big dig, I wasn't sure how much bigger the, coal, the ore veins were going to be. I did still kind of want to see them more segregated, so you have a, like a tin mine, like I said, on one island, and a uh, copper mine somewhere else and have a reason to travel, you know, doing it all intermixed, you still have that weird thing where you can get an, any ore anywhere in the world. I guess that's good for survival, but a little bit wonky. I don't really need gold. Gold, yeah, I don't know. It makes decent wires for medium voltage current, but that's about it. All the gold tools and uh, weapons are useless. Looks like some monazit ore there, which means that one of the uh, oh the uh, force field system MFF MFFS is installed. Never used it. Really haven't. You know, then again, I usually play by myself, and pretty shortly into the game, you tend to get strong enough that the vanilla mobs are not an issue. So I don't need force fields. With certain mobs, mods installed, the uh, Monazit Ore, which gives the Forcesium when you pulverize it or smelt or whatever, the forsicium was useful in uh, a mass fabricator as an accelerator, just like the scrap is, but I kind of think that was a Greg Tech uh, ordeal. Anyway, getting dark. 
Not dark enough. Fine, I'll go smash some more things and see what happens. Hello, any ores down here? Well, let me mostly smash with my, uh... S I will smash the stone with stone pickaxe and save the, uh... Save the iron pickaxe for the good stuff. Now this might not be forsythium. It's a little too bluish. It might be that weird green copper ore. Huh. I don't know what that stuff is. Let me look. Ender dust. What the hell is that? Doing in the regular world. Alright. Some mod went creative there. Thought it was the green copper ore. For, uh, but I think that's metallurgy or... Something from the New Worlds mod pack has got green uh, copper ore. But no, it's something you whack and you get ender dust. And we'll just have to ask NEI what that's good for. See, normally before bed, I will read myself a good novel. Sci fi classics, Asimov, Zelazny, uh, Harlan Ellison, all kinds of other interesting stuff. Kevin J. Anderson, Brian Herbert, the Dune series, those are all top-notch books, good for, uh, good for before bed. I really don't smash the, the walls to pieces and hammer my guts out before bed. I imagine I would wake up rather stiff. Oh, it's a lonely old world. So I got tin, gold, silver, got some ender dust. Why is that not on recipe mode? Ender dust, what are you good for? Oh, four of them makes an ender pearl. Well, that's thrilling. Really, is not thrilling. All right. So today, oh, first of all, I want to make a, a waypoint right here. Is it still the W key? Let's see which it is. REI is mini map map. Waypoints add first cave. Exit menu, all right. And that's where all my goods are right now. But I'm going to head across the mountains, over the hills and far away. Or not so far away. To start developing down here. Wow, there's a mob. How strange. I have not seen one of those yet. Oh well, I was just going to jump into water. Now he's going to come and get me. I guess I didn't get to bed early enough. The mobs came out. Alright, so... What a pretty world. First of all... Let's see, he can't come out of the water. I will start my first above-ground shack. which is going to be just a miserable bunch of cobblestone with no design whatsoever because it's survival. I can always I will go back at some point and make it prettier. And I really have no other materials right now. Well, let's be extravagant. I'll actually use uh, my three spruce logs for the top right there. Do I have any dirt? Just eight of them, huh? Well, that's kind of silly. So, let's see. Five. I don't have any glass for windows yet. But this is kind of my standard brain-dead design here. Brain dead design, brain dead. 
brain dead design. And now for the uh, the top, quickly hop up, place a block there, just for alignment purposes, and then fill in a slightly peaked roof. I just get too claustrophobic. I hate roofs that are uh, two blocks high, and every time I sneeze, I hit my head on the roof. Yeah, there's no fun. So let's see. Now, once again, I got to do my basic survival kit. Let's see. Why did you go in oxygen canister area? All right. So, see how quickly a person can get set up in this game here. Let's go six. There we go. As you recall, fence gate six done and a chest should be eight left for a chest exactly I put the chest there and just for fun to make glass I can see if I can get this all done by tonight here six oh heck I'll put the furnace right there and they'll give you feed you some coal. Now I just need to go scoop out some sand. Shovel number two. Hope that skeleton isn't still there. It's getting a little bit dark. Let's not let the floodwaters in. All right. And let's leave ourselves room to step back up. There's more ender stuff. I don't really see the need for that. Is that clay? No, that's probably marble, some version of marble. I don't know which mod adds the marble, but it looks too much like clay. Alright, let's go in here. We need to just cook up, uh, see, six of those, will, six glass will make 16 glass panes, which is reasonably good. Let me go quickly harvest some rock, rock, stone, uh, cobble. Well, I think I'll be harvesting that from inside my house. Just can't stop digging. I'm a digaholic. Well, the problem with the uh, endless ores, of course, is that they don't leave much cobble for you to get. Emeralds. Emeralds are good. Now I can trade with villagers for useless things that nobody would ever need at exorbitant prices and then smack them for being the world's worst business people. And I broke my... Uh, Iron pick. There's the six glass I need. Quickly make you into 16 glass panes. Number one. Now the other thing, of course, I don't need this many windows. So just to save materials. Okay, cat's trying to walk on me. What was that? Enderman already? Cat? No. Enderman out there. Well, that's creepy. I really can't defend against an Enderman yet. Okay, I am safe in here. Well, unless a skeleton walks up and shoots me with an arrow. Oh, I didn't forget, I didn't finish the ceiling. That could be a problem. How much dirt do I have? I need uh, eight. I have 18, so perfect. Five. Like I say, I will. I cannot abide in super tight enclosed spaces. So my dirt ceiling, which I'll eventually replace with glass, is just going to be one higher. And there, I have my first actual structure. And I'm thinking that's uh, my first day or two at the big dig. 
survive and okay so far.